Just before we start, we want to let you know that we now have a new site, codes.nintendolife.com, where you can buy eShop codes, but more importantly, if you use the code Xmas10 before the year's end, you'll get 10% off. How's that for a bargain? Go to codes.nintendolife.com and start saving on eShop games now. Hello there, lovely P. Politalics from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something. What's that thing? It's a shirt. Yes, that's right. There's a company called Original Stitch, and they've done some partnership thing with Pokemon and the Pokemon Company more specifically. And they do this whole ream of different shirts, like in so many different Pokemon styles. And they they were like, Alex, do you want one? And I I looked at the price, and I was like. Yeah, go on then. But as I said, there's loads of different designs. So first of all, I'm going to have to work out what design I want. So I've gone to the original Stitch website and I'm, I'm going to do it if I can if I can find it. There it is. Pokemon shirts. <laughs> nice. OK, so they do a polo and they do a shirt. But I do happen to know that they do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Men's. Yes, that's me. They do like standard shirts, they do uh, business stuff, like dress shirts, casual shirts, and Hawaiian shirts. Now, I am a sucker for a Hawaiian shirt. I find them nice and comfortable, light, airy, they're brilliant for the summer. I wear them in the winter as well, which usually results in somebody going, ha ha, is it summer outside? People are hilarious. But I like them. I like them gaudy. I like, uh, yeah, all right, I'll agree to the privacy. Long sleeve. I didn't even know you could get a long sleeve Hawaiian shirt. Let's not be silly. Let's go short sleeve. I like to be able to show my forearms. So we go into here and the customize. And yeah, you can get like just the standard. I, I don't quite know. I mean, I suppose it's got, you know, the Pokemon buttons, the Pokeball buttons, which you'll see in a second. But why would you just go for pink? You should see some of the gaudy stuff they've got going on. Um, that I like quite a lot. It's a slightly bit bitty. I do like green. I am a sucker for green. Um, but what I'm kind of looking for is a Pokemon that really resonates with me as well. And that I also like the design and is nice and gaudy. And that's nearly gaudy. But it's a Pokemon, you know, Zarud. I, I, is, it, is that even how it's pronounced? I don't even know. Chari, wow, that's a lot of things. Uh, another thing that I want, though, is I want it to be a design where you have to sort of, you have to double take. You know, if you're familiar with Pokemon, you get a good look. You go, oh, yeah, that's th that's a Pokemon shirt. But you have to have a good look. Um, so, uh, yeah, this doesn't really do it for me. It's a little bit obvious. Let's keep looking. And I see I like that. That's nice and subtle. But to me, that doesn't scream Hawaiian. I, I mean, I suppose I could look at some more sort of exotic Pokemon, but I still, I quite like that design, actually. If I was going for something more subtle, I think I'd go, I could well go for that. But let's try and find something gaudy, something brighter, bolder, less minimalist. Oh, now Vileplume, that is a contender. Although the pattern's a bit repeaty for me. Let's keep looking. I can always come back. Oh, now that I like. I like the geometric sort of style of it, but at the same time, mm, I think we could find something gaudier. Ideally, I want two colors that contrast tremendously. Let's see what Johto has to offer. Um, we start off with the starters and everything. Nothing's immediate. Ooh, for alligator. Let's have a closer look at you. Ah, again, I like it, but it's not really screaming Hawaiian to me. It needs to have more sort of natural angles, perhaps. Let's keep looking. Although, that is a strong contender. Like the paisley sort of look, but mm, yeah, I'm not entirely certain. Again, the, the pattern's quite small. I prefer something bigger. Oh, I do like that one. It's not quite gaudy enough for me, but I like the natural shapes and I like Sceptile as well. I like that you look at it and you sort of go, oh, that just looks like a shirt. You have to look really close to notice that it is, in fact, Sceptile. Or is it Skeptile? Oh, that's another one. Ah, if only it wasn't quite so bitty. I like the contrasting colors, like the orange and the green. It's a Kecleon, and you know, makes sense that it's subtle, but also it's a bit repeaty. A bit tiled, maybe. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. It's got the green. It's 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 bold colors, but they're not like oversaturated or anything. It's tropius. You have to look quite closely to notice it's tropius. It's maybe a little bit repeaty, but you know, at the same time, it's broken up so much that it's not immediately obvious. I I really like that one. Like, I really like that one. You know what? Screw it. I think we found a winner. I think I could spend ages on here and agonize over which one I wanted. So I think I'm just going to go with Tropius. Always liked Tropius. Been a big fan of grass types ever since I was a, a, a child. And I always liked that Tropius was a bit crap. I mean, I mentioned this on Twitter a couple of weeks ago and somebody was like, oh, no, actually, he could be really good. Which, um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Tropius has always got to be a bit pants. I don't have a great deal of use for a pocket, but it's nice that it's there. Um, oh, you can actually select a different fabric for the pocket, which, um, 
okay, let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Again, you know, it sort of it blends in. It doesn't look like it's being too obvious. Embroidery, ooh. Embroidery on the chest. Um, no, again, I like sort of subtlety. Embroidery. Oh, you can get embroidery on the sleeve, though. What can you get? Oh, you get all the different unknowns. Ooh. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave that as it is. An A for Alex on the sleeve. Why not? Could also get some embroidery at the front, but no, no, it's just sort of down here. No, no, I think, I think less is more. You know, sort of the shirt speaks for itself. That's Gordy. Let's try and be a little bit more careful with everything else. Hey, Slack's still running. And lastly, we have to choose what kind of button we want. We could go for front button or nothing else. I don't know why there's options there, but we could go for Pokeball. We could go for Great Ball or Ultra Ball. Um, Pokeball, again, slightly obvious. Not saying the other two aren't obvious, but everyone knows a Pokeball when they look at it. Ultra Ball, yeah, it's sort of being, oh, look at me, I'm Ultra and everything. I think I'm going to go for Great Ball. I always like the design. And the blue maybe blends in with it slightly. Let's zoom in. Uh, not zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. It's uh, slightly low resolution, <laughs> but you can tell. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go for Great Balls. So now it's just a case of me going through ordering it and uh, seeing what happens. Right, that's all ordered then. Now it's just a waiting game, waiting for it to arrive. It's here! Yes, what you just saw was complete theater. I've had the shirt for about a week now and I'm gonna tell you what I think of it. Overall, I think it's a very nice shirt. I do really like the design. I, I you yeah, know, I've worn it uh, several times now. You know, I've worn it around the house. I've worn it when going out. I even wore it on my birthday. <laughs> and when I was there, I actually asked my friends, you know, sort of, hey, do you recognize anything about this shirt? And they sort of went, oh, and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be sort of, oh, Alex has got another Hawaiian shirt kind of thing. But then, you know, sort of double taken. Oh, no, this is a special one. I also, <laughs> I totally forgot about the embroidery. So um, the embroidery happened. I realized when, when, when I was at the birthday meal and I was just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear it. Well, look away. So, here it is. I'll give you a little bit of a twirl. I can't... I, can, I, I mean, it, it's hard for me to show it, but here it is. And overall, I've got to say, I really like the shirt. It's wonderful. It's lightweight. It's uh, handmade in Japan. So, you know, there's a nice sort of it's not been made in a sweatshop kind of vibe, which I am down with. I think it maybe went a little bit too big. Um, thankfully, with the Hawaiian shirt, it's not that much of a big deal um, because, you know, they can be open and free flowing. And I'd rather it be a little bit too big than a little bit too small, but something a little bit more fitted, maybe. But that's on me. The quality of the material is very nice as well. Uh, I mean, you'd expect it for the price overall, wouldn't you? Because this is a this is about hundred pounds, hundred dollars, sort of that area. So um, yeah, it's it's more than I usually pay for a shirt. I mean, by quite a lot. Because generally, I get my uh, my clothes from charity shops because. Uh, generally, they're perfectly good, and I don't see the reason of playing full price for something. With exceptions, you know, certain coats and things like that. There are some things that I'll buy brand new, but generally, I just go to a charity shop, mate. They're completely fine. So this is a bit of a rarity for me. I don't really buy myself new clothes at all, and it's very, very nice. I mean, generally, clothes I get, you know, are in perfectly good condition, but this is, this is a brand spanker. This really is. And, uh, it, it's very nice, don't get me wrong, but... There were one or two things where I, I would like to see some changes, perhaps? The design is fantastic. I mean, I chose it myself. I don't have any qualms with the design. I think it's beautiful. It's lovely. And, you know, the quality of the stitching is very good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert. But I've been wearing clothes for a few years now. And I think it's very good. But I can't deny the unboxing experience was a little bit basic. I mean, the packaging it came in is not that important, realistically. But given the price... I would have expected something a little bit more premium feeling, you know, a sort of thin cardboard and just a plastic bag. It was perfectly serviceable. It wasn't bad, but given the price, 
I don't know, I expected a little bit more. But much more importantly, no spare buttons. <laughs> no spare buttons at all. I don't know whether it's just a UK thing, but generally, on sort of like the, the little label that says, you know, oh, don't wash over 40 or something like that, on that label, there's usually like a little sort of attached bag or something, or sometimes it's just sewn on, you get spare buttons, because, you know, buttons come off, you want to replace them. And considering how, like, unique these buttons are, I can't just go to a shop and buy another, like, great ball button. I just can't. And so some spare buttons would have been really nice there. I generally don't lose buttons overall, but even so, you know, things happen, and it's nice to have that little safety net. So I would have liked to have seen some spare buttons as well. Or even just one. But I'm not ignorant. I know what you're paying for when it comes to this. You're paying for the design because there, there are literally hundreds of designs that they've got on offer, which is insane. You're paying for the fact that it is made in Japan and it's not made in a sweatshop, you know, and that's a, that's a big deal. And, you know, it, it makes the quality better and it means that there's standard of living for the people making it, which is so important. And, of course, you're paying for licensing, which is like the most boring thing imaginable. You know, someone's designed this, that's a beautiful thing. Someone's made it, that's a beautiful thing. Some lawyers have come around and said, we need some money for that, and it's that's dull, isn't it? It's it, it needs to be done, absolutely. It's, you know, Pokemon's IP, but it's just dull, you know? But overall, I really, really like it. It's absolutely a premium product, but if you're looking at this or you're looking at some of the designs that maybe I skimmed past or something and you're thinking, wow, I need a Hawaiian shirt like that, or even a normal shirt, imagine, then I, I can recommend it. It's a good quality shirt. I've got a, you know, I'm hopeful that it will last a good, good number of years. Ideally, you know, sort of quite a long time. I've got a lot of Hawaiian shirts, and uh, this is going to be kind of like a bit of a special one, you know, a birthday thing, you know, doing something special. Not just, you know, an everyday Hawaiian shirt, as I'm sure we all have dozens. If you want to learn more, then make sure you check out the links in the description. Uh, once again, big thanks to Original Stitch for sending this over. It is a lovely shirt. I cannot deny that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you dress up that subscribe button in a gaudy array of lovely things, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>